Today on the Point Blank Performance Channel, we're talking about the Ram trucks, the 19s, the 20s, and the 21s. Guys, your trucks come equipped with the factory CP4 fuel pump. It's the latest, greatest thing on your truck. You're super happy about it. Over here, we have the CP3 pump. Your truck used to come with this pump installed. Why do we have it on the table? Well, we're gonna be swapping to it. But first, we're gonna dive into this CP4 pump, look at the location of it, and see how it works. So before we talk about the CP3 conversion, let's actually talk about the CP4 pump and how we got to it on your new 21 Ram. Guys call in and they wanna know, why is this pump on my truck? Well, let me take you back in time. On your 5.9 Cummins, you had a CP3 pump. It was capable of 22,000 pounds of pressure. We needed more pressure, emission standards got higher. That's when the CP3 pump got upgraded to 25,000 pounds of pressure out of your 13 to 18 Dodge Cummins. Now we've got the new ones out and they're equipped with a CP4 pump. Why is it so great? It's because of this. They're capable of 30,000 pounds of pressure. They are meeting emission standards. That's the reason why, emission standards. So CP4 pump meets emission standards, 30,000 pounds of pressure. So when you're driving this thing, the fuel pressure comes up and you have a super clean burn inside your engine. That way the exhaust is happy because you don't have these big particles going through it because it's a cleaner, hotter burn and your EGR system doesn't have to run its exhaust system back through it constantly. So to break it down one more step further is this. If you have a fire burning, and you have this pump in front of you, you put your finger over the hose and you spray the fire, with 30,000 pounds of pressure, you get this massive heat and it's a clean burn. The CP3 pump was never capable of doing that in a OEM application. It could do 25,000 and in the 5.9s, 22,000. So the CP4 pump is the latest, greatest, best thing. So now we're actually gonna show you this in its factory location and some cool things about it. Let's check it out. So we got our CP4 pump here. Let's put it back in its factory location. Now guys, what we wanna show you is this. We wanna show you how it gets fed fuel, how it returns fuel, and how it delivers fuel to the actual fuel rail. If you wanna see one of these pumps tore down, check out a link here. Now we're talking about this one. Got the low pressure fuel coming into the pump, it goes down here to the bottom, then gets spun up to the FCA, fuel control actuator. You've got two pistons. This is different from a CP3. You've got two pistons, so you've got to deliver the high pressure fuel into two locations on the rail. This is something new on the 19 through 21 Dodges. You can see here, it'll come into the rail. You can see back here, it'll also come into the rail. Something pretty cool, the CP4s have to have it because they have a twin pump. Now, if you're looking at it on a performance side of this, you could lead into dual fuelers, meaning you could have two CP3 pumps feeding that rail, and they have their own standalone high pressure line. Guys, this is something that's really, really cool, and hopefully somebody will develop that for these pumps. You'll have twice the amount of fuel, and your capabilities are endless. So guys, here's the big picture. This pump, CP4 pump, is capable of getting this truck down the road and making it last. Why would we, would we step back in time, do a CP3 swap, but more importantly, do a CP3 swap by s, &S Diesel? So on your brand new fifth gen Dodge Cummins, why are we taking off the CP4 pump? We know this pump is capable of 30,000 pounds of pressure and it comes equipped factory OEM on your truck. We're gonna put a CP3 conversion on the truck behind me. That means we're jumping back in time. This pump is found on the 5.9 Dodge Cummins and the previous 6.7 Dodge Cummins. We talked about it could only do 25,000 pounds of pressure back then. But today and now, this pump can do 30,000 pounds of pressure, so it matches it, but it can do also up to 32,000 pounds of pressure if you know what you're doing. So, what's the next thing? Is it fitment? Do they have a flaw in that new Dodge behind me with the CP4 fitment? Is it because they routed the fuel lines to two places in the rail? Did they feed it in the wrong places on the low pressure in the return side? No, it's not that. We have an s, &S diesel conversion here. It's a very nice kit. You guys are going to see more in depth of that. to see how easily it's put on and how it looks. What about a five in 1,000 chance? This pump will fail time and time over again versus a CP3 conversion, meaning this. The truck behind me has under 30,000 miles on it. It's a 2019 Ram, probably cost $70,000. That Ram has been to the dealership twice to get a complete fuel system replaced. That's equals 13,000 each time. 
Guys, it's a very, very big ticket to eat, especially eat a couple of times. It's the reason why the truck's here. Put an SNS diesel CP3 conversion on it. We're gonna to talk to the customer. We're gonna line him out, and we're gonna to talk to him about this. These CP4 pumps can't handle any water in them. The CP3, we have seen water in them. These CP4 pumps cannot handle gasoline. We've seen gasoline in the CP3s, and they've ran. Some pretty crazy things. Nothing's indestructible, but diesel owners think those trucks are. Just about to wrap up on our CP3 conversion by SNS Diesel. Couple things, you take out the factory ECM, put the new bracket in, reinstall the ECM. The CP3 pump is a little bit bigger than the CP4. They've got a collar that adapts to the back of the timing cover. You slide the pump in, torque it down, and you're ready to go. On our kit, we gotta install the main injection line and the feed line, and we're ready to start this truck. So guys, here's the biggest thing. This customer wanted to switch because he's had two of these CP4 pumps fail. He hot shots for a living. So this truck has to be out on the road making money every single day. If you're a fifth gen Dodge Ram owner and you don't know anything about your CP4 pump, you may look into one of these kits. You don't even have to take our word for it. You can go straight to an SNS diesel. That's what this customer did and they actually recommended him calling us. Guys, this is something that you need to replace on your truck if you're worried about a potential failure. So if you're a new Ram owner and you're on the fence about sticking with your CP4 pump or doing the CP3 conversion, I'm gonna paint this picture for you. If you're like me and you maintenance every single thing, you do all the fuel filter changes yourself, you do all the five to six to seven key cycles every single time that you get in to start that truck after a fuel filter change, then you may stay with a CP4 pump. It's not really realistic, but that's the way I am. Now, if you're like the majority of our clients that come in and they need their truck to work, they need to get in that thing, start it up, and boom, when they hit the road, it's on the floor. Guys, the CP3 conversion is something more that we're gonna push for you only because it's more practical, it's more realistic, and it's robust, it's just proven. So that wraps up my story with it. I'm not gonna make it any worse or any better. Guys, you can hop on Google. If you don't believe me, check out a CP4 pump or go to SNS Diesel, talk to those guys. So guys, this truck behind me, we're gonna have it for a couple more days. By the time you see this, we'll be able to answer any and all questions that you have about how it runs, how it starts, all that good jazz. Guys, make for sure you like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you back here next week at Point Blank Performance. So we just finished up with our fifth gen Dodge Cummins on the CP3 video. Well, we had a couple rumors floating around that the new 21 Dodge Rams actually dropped the CP4 pump and picked back up the CP3. So there's no way they're gonna do this. Ford Power Strokes haven't changed from the CP4, neither did the LML Duramax. So we made a call to the local dealership and we said, hey, can you go out, pop the hood on a new 21 Ram, look at the high pressure fuel pump and send us a picture on it. We got a picture. Now, I'll be damned, they went back to a CP3 pump, guys. I never in my wildest dreams thought that they would actually transition back. So 19 to 20 Dodge Ram owners, the 21's converted back to the CP3 pump. Obviously Cummins had a reason to go back to this pump for whatever the issue is, but failure was probably brought up in that category. We're not saying your 19 to 20 will have an issue or could have an issue, but obviously the CP3 pump got put back in where it used to go for a reason. Now guys, how long can it last? Will the CP3 pump actually stay with the Cummins or will they be forced back to go with the CP4? Now this is out of my pay grade, I don't know. So this will be something time will tell. If you own a 21 Ram, maybe you've got a bunch of miles on it, you're a hot shotter, keep us logged with the miles. Let us know if you've had any problems with the CP3 pump or if she's still running. Guys, thanks for watching.